Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to prove that a n equal to n power 3 minus 5, power n, 5 over n plus 4 power n tends to infinity. For this, I am going to use a result called the reciprocal rule. Now, the statement on the reciprocal rule is on page 64 of the Bannon text. This says that if a sequence AN satisfies two conditions, if AN is eventually positive and 1 over AN is now sequence, then AN tends to infinity. So we must prove these two conditions. So in this case, a n is equal to n power 3 minus 5 over n plus 4 power n. Notice that 5 over n is a null sequence. So we know that 5 over n eventually is less than 1. Since we know, since 5 over n is a null sequence. So if this is a null sequence, eventually 5 over n will be less than 1 for n greater than 5. Therefore, a n, which is n power 3, minus 4 power n, minus 5 over n, since 5 over n is less than 1, and n power 3 is more than 1, for n equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4 power n is more than 1, for n equal to 1, 2, 3, so this thing is greater than 2, greater than 0 eventually. Right? Because actually for n greater than equal to 1, for n greater than 2, for n greater than equal to 2, this will work already. So first condition is satisfied. So we know that first condition is satisfied. How about the second condition? The second condition we need to show is 1 over a n is a null sequence. Therefore, so let's look at the second condition 1 over a n. 1 over a n is actually 1 over n cubed minus 5 over n plus 4 power n. Notice that the dominant term is actually 4 power n between n cube and 4 power n, right? So what you can do is divide everything by n power 4 power n. So 1 over a n is actually 1 over 4 power n divided by n cube over 4 power n plus mi minus 5 over n to 4 power n n plus 1 now in this case we need to use some result of basic null sequence let's see what are these all right so for the basic null sequence we know on page 48 of the parent text 1 over n power p is a basic null sequence c power n is a basic null sequence m power p c power n is also a basic null sequence and in this case I'm going to make use of the result point 3 and point A right? 1 over mp and mpc power n is a basic null sequence for c absolute value of c less than 1 and p more than 1 so in this case notice that note that let me change some color Note that 1 power 4 1 over 4 power n is actually 1 over 4 raised to the power n, which is belong to c power n. So this is the second part. Saying that this is a null sequence and also m cube 4 power n is actually n power p and 1 quarter raised to the power n. Where we can say n power p c power n this is for the second term all 
right? And I already know that 1 over n is a null sequence for p equal to 1. Where are, where are these coming from? Let's take a look at basic null sequence again. So the basic null sequence is part a 1 over n power p, c power n, m p, c n for a, b, c. Right, these are the three point A, B, C. So this is coming up from A, this coming up from C, this coming up from B. On page 48 of the dependent text. So using this, we know that by combination rule now, so let me write there, by combination rule of sequence, Limits of 1 over a n as n goes to infinity is equal to the limit of n goes to infinity 1 over 4 to the power n n n cubed over 4 of our n n cubed times 1 quarter to the power n minus 1 over n 5 over n 4 power n plus 1 as n goes to infinity, this is equal to 0 on the numerator, 0 on the denominator is minus, 1 over n converts to 0, and 1 over 4 power n converts to 0 also, this is equal to 5 times 0, times 0, plus 1. Right, you can consider this as, let me erase and write it, clearly it's 5 times 1 over n times 1 over 4 power n. Therefore, as n goes to infinity, this is going to be 0. And we show that 1 over a n is now. So the second condition is satisfied. Therefore, if we can conclude now by the reciprocal rule. A n, which is equal to n cubed minus i over n plus four power n diverge to infinity. This is the end of the recording. Let's look at the reciprocal rule again. Reciprocal rule in this case is a two point. We have proved that AM eventually positive and one way and is now. And so AN tends to infinity.